Wouldn't it be cool if you could actually repair Windows 11 without having to actually reinstall the whole operating system? You know, the whole process where you've got to wipe your whole disk and then re-put all your programs on, all your software, everything, which is just time consuming and a bit of a nightmare as well. But you actually can. So if you are actually running Windows 11 with 23H2 and onwards, so that's 23H2 and then 24H2 at the time of this recording, then you're in luck. There's now a new feature which you can do to repair most major issues without having to do a reinstall. But a quick introduction, my name's Matthew everyone, welcome back, Matthew's Tech Hub here, hope you're doing well. And again, so as I said, in today's video I'm going to be covering on how you can actually do a Windows 11 repair process which actually avoids having to reinstall the whole operating system by wiping your whole computer physically. Now again, this will only work on Windows 23H2 and 24H2 and above. If you're not seeing this operation, again, I'll show you in the video shortly on how you can actually check what version of Windows you are running. But if not, you are going to essentially have to do something called an in-place upgrade, which again, I'll show you on how to do that as well later in the video. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Well, as you can see, we're now back on the Windows 11 desktop. Now, I just thought I'd quickly show you on how you can actually check your Windows build to see what version you are running, and also how you can also check to see if this option is there before we do jump straight into it. Now, if you're not, if you are running Windows 23 H2 or Windows 24 H2, you don't want to skip later on and head into the video because this part won't be for you. But if you're not, this is how you can check. So what you want to do is right at the bottom here, go down to your start menu, and he's going to jump into the settings option. Once you're in here, you're going to go onto the system section and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go into about. Now, as you can see right here, I'm actually purposely running 21H2 to demo this. So this is an older version of Windows. But if you want to check to see if the option definitely isn't there, you can just jump into system, go down to recovery, and then you would actually have an option just below, well, between reset this PC and between uh, fix problems without resetting your PC, saying fix Windows problems using Windows updates. Now, I obviously don't have this version, so what we need to now do is we need to now do something called a Windows in-place upgrade. So let's jump on straight onto that section now so I can show you how to do an in-place upgrade. If you do an in-place upgrade in your Windows 11 system, the way to do this is actually by downloading the latest ISO version of Windows from Microsoft's website. So the way you can do this, guys, is again, all the links will be down in the description box down below, so you can easily just go get those. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Microsoft's website here and it will take you straight to the download Windows 11 page. Now you're going to scroll down in this section here and you'll have the download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. So I'm going to click on select download here and then click on Windows 11. I'm just going to click on this download now button. Now this will take a second because it's just going to validate the request. So all that's doing is going to find out the languages that are available for this version. So let's give that a second here. And then you can see it now says select product language. So I'm now going to select the language which I want to download the ISO in. So I'm just going to do English International and I'm going to click confirm. So I'm going to let that process now. So that will now take a second again. And then you'll straight away have the link option here, which gives you the option to download either in 64 bits. So I'm going to select the 64 bit, click on this. And then as you can see, it's now downloading the ISO file in the top right corner. So I'm going to let it download. And again, I'll be back in just a few seconds. So now that the ISO file is actually downloaded, we're now just going to simply just go to the file and mount it to our device. So what we're going to do is we now just minimize out of this window here, go into our file explorer. Now by default, it should download to the downloads folder, or you can actually just drag it out of the Chrome window onto your desktop. But I'm just going to go to the file explorer, go down to downloads, and then as you can see, I've now got the Windows 11 H2 ISO. So I'm going to right click on that and then click on mount. Now if you don't have this new Windows 11 right click menu, which is just awful, I'm um, sorry, I should have disabled it, but I haven't. But if you go to show more options just down at the bottom here, again, you'll have the mount option right at the top. So I'm just going to click on mount and it'll say open file security warning. That's fine. It's obviously from Microsoft, so it's going to be okay. Click on open. And then I'm right in here, you're now going to have, uh, well, as you can see, it's now mounted it almost like a CD. So what we're going to do now is just double click on where it says setup, which is the exe file for application. So double click on this. You may then get the Windows 11 UAC warning, so that's fine. So just click on yes. Give that a second there. And as you can see, it's now asking you to install Windows 11. So this is now going to be the in-place upgrade. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to click on right here where it says change how down how setup downloads updates. Again, I'm just going to leave that. So if you want, if you want to change that, you can do. Um, that will just download the latest version of updates, which says you haven't to update them later on. But I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to leave that to download the latest updates. And I'm going to hit on next. So let's get that now. Find the latest updates for Windows. And I'll be back with you in just a sec. 
Now, once it's downloaded the latest updates, it will just quickly restart the installer and it will then say check in your PC and that should then bring you back to this license terms window. So what we're now going to do is uh, I was going to read all this really quickly. There we go, read it all, I completely agree. Um, and I was going to go to click on accept on the right corner. Click on that. And again, it's now just going to quickly make sure, just do a quick few checks just to make sure that we're ready to do the update. Now, again, it's just found a few more updates here. So I'm going to let that process. And again, I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so finally, after all of the updates, it now says that we're now ready to install. So it will take a little bit to spend your connection there or your PC specs, but it took me about 10, 15 minutes, which wasn't too bad. So once you get to this section right here, it's now going to ask you to install if you want to install Windows 11 Pro and if you want to also keep your personal files and apps, which obviously if you're doing an in-place upgrade, you want to do that because obviously you don't want to have to wipe it and then sort of put everything back on. So that's fine. So I'm going to click on install. And then again, it's now going to come up the full screen of Windows 11, the install page that it's going to be doing. So I'm going to let that process. Again, it may restart a few times. It will take a bit of time, but just allow it, leave it on. So go make yourself a cup of coffee, cup of tea, whichever you prefer, and then leave it running. And again, I'll be back in just a sec. So as you can see, we're now back on the desktop of, of the updated Windows 11, which is now running 24H2. So the way just to check that again is just go down to our start menu, jump into settings, and then go into system, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then just go to about. You now see that it says version 24H2. So great, we've now done an in-place upgrade. All of our files, software, everything has all been kept, so nothing has changed at all apart from the Windows version. So now we're running the latest version. Now this is where we're now going to skip to the next part of the video, which I'm going to show you on how you can actually run a repair in Windows, which will actually save you having to reinstall Windows completely. So let's jump to that section of the video. So if you're running Windows 11 24H2 or 23H2, if you are in 23H2, just make sure it's fully up to date. Then again, you will have this option to repair Windows. So the way to actually initiate this repair, if you are having some major issue with your device, which is maybe prompting you to do a full reinstall, but you don't want to quite do that, is you just go down to the bottom, just down here at the start menu, jump into the settings. And again, you can just search for settings as well. And in this menu here, you're going to go into the system tab on the left hand side, scroll down to recovery right here. And as you can see, this option here is fix problems using Windows Update. So it says reinstall your current version of Windows, your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So that's all exactly what we want to do. So I'm now going to click on this right here, click on reinstall. And it will then bring up an option saying we'll repair components and system files. If repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix system components corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows, your apps, documents, and settings will be preserved. Brilliant, that's exactly what you want. So again, this saves you having to do a full wipe and then putting Windows back on and then putting all your files back on, which is just really time consuming. And personally myself, I've done that. Gosh, I think I've lost that amount of times and I've done it countless amount of times. So again, it just says, please make sure your PC is on, connected to the network and a power source after the installation is complete. And it will say, after the installation, we'll let you know when it's time to restart your PC to complete the repair. Perfect. So I'm going to select automatically restart my PC 15 minutes after the installation. So if you because that's if you are going to walk away from the device, again, you want to might maybe do that. So let's click OK. And again, it's just going to check for updates. So let's give that a second there just to check. And then as you can see, it now says Windows 11 version 24H2 bracket repair version. So that's now going to download the Windows uh, version to actually repair your operating system. So you want to allow that to download, let it run. It will take a little bit of time, but just let it run. And then again, it will prompt you when you're ready to restart and it'll run through the repair process. But hope that helps you out guys there. Hopefully that fixes out some of your problems. If it does, please smash that like button as it helps get this video into the YouTube algorithm. And also please also hit that subscribe button as well for more content. And also please leave your comments down in the comment section down below. And if you also want to check me out on social media, you can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Again, all the links will be down in the description box down below. But until next time, thanks for watching guys. See you then. Bye for now.